Waiting on some wintry action in the state line as we're starting to see the cold air approach us. So that is going to switch the rain showers we see currently over to a little snow, sleet, and freezing rain. Out ahead of that, possibly a couple quick downpours working into Lee and Ogle counties, and plenty of rainfall still to be had across the rest of the state line. Now, the National Weather Service just issued a flood advisory a couple minutes ago. This is for most of Lee County, DeKalb County, and even a sliver of Ogle County. Only looking at some minor flooding in some low lying areas. Some poor drainage areas, but still something to monitor as we go into tomorrow morning. It's all because of the rainfall of the day, melting snow, and then of course it can't go anywhere because the ground is still frozen. So just keep an eye on some of those low lying spots. There could be some minor flooding through about 930 tomorrow morning. As you look at current temperatures still above freezing across the state line, so no iciness yet, but we're getting closer to that territory in Joe Davies County, which is why the radar's starting to show that switch over to frozen precipitation. You see future tracks a little ahead of the game, but general timing is by the time we get to about 10 30 11, we'll start to see that line of freezing precipitation approach the Rockford area. And then right around midnight is when it sweeps into DeKalb and Lee counties. And these are some of the spots that are under a winter weather advisory, expecting to see heavier ice accumulations along and south of I-88 through the rest of the night. By the time we get to about midnight, light snowfall possible for a brief amount of time, and then we dry out closer to sunrise. Still could see some slick spots across the state line, even if you aren't under an advisory. Again, White Side, Lee, and DeKalb counties have that advisory because the icing will be a little heavier here tonight, and then tomorrow, slightly heavier snowfall as well. But still, north of I-88, drive with caution into tomorrow morning. Temperature-wise, dropping below freezing tonight by a couple degrees, down to 26 with some breezy winds. And then that might be about as warm as it gets. You can see around sunrise, we're still in the middle 20s, but then dropping into the teens tomorrow evening, so the weather gets even more brisk as we go throughout the day. And the afternoon provides some snow flurries or some light snow, depending on your location. Just like we see with the icing, snow is going to be a little heavier south of I-88. You can see those steady snow showers for a while. While north of I-88, it's more in the way of flurries to light snow. Briefly in the afternoon, all areas should be dry by the time it gets to Thursday evening. And then we stay dry the rest of the week. When it comes to snow accumulations, inch or less north of I-88, and I'm looking at a couple inches south of I-88, which doesn't sound like a ton, but it's just enough to be a pretty big nuisance tomorrow with tonight's ice plus the snow coming in tomorrow, so be ready for that. Looking ahead in the forecast, we stay dry and chilly going into the start of the weekend. Then we jump 20 degrees, so a lot of the snow and ice melts on Sunday. We stay above freezing into early next week, possibly seeing a rain-snow mix on Tuesday as the weather cools back off again. In your most accurate 10-day forecast, the weather stays colder long-term. We dip down believe, uh, below freezing for several days in a row going into next weekend. In the meantime, wild temperature swings this week. We just managed to stay within the 4-degree guarantee as we hit 55 today. We'll be close to 30 degrees colder than that with 26 for tomorrow, Brittany. Getting close to 200 for that jackpot, Alex. Thanks.